Orderly number two. Mikhail, Mikhail Goba, number two, reporting in. You know, no matter what they said, I couldn't believe you were done for. And right I was. What do you mean, done for? I've been told that you died of exhaustion. I don't remember who brought the news. But the rumor is that you burned yourself out. Protected us from the plague, but at the cost of your own life. So some of the guys went to the judge for further instructions. Nothing to do here, he said. Your place is across the river. The judge canceling my orders? What is this about? That's what I said, too. None of his business, medicine. A smart man, that the judge is, no arguing here. But you're the plague man. His business is power. As for the pest and other medical stuff, we are to do what you, the bachelor, have ordered. No matter if you're alive or dead. Alright, I'll deal with the judge. Now report the situation. Reporting in. The Dusk District, House 1. There it is to the left, with the smoking chimney. Is harboring Aspity, a local quack. There is a rumor circulating that she's not susceptible to the sand pest and can cure it, too. House 2, to the right. A suspicious group of children is ogling its windows. They're probably up to no good. Hmm. There's a rumor circulating that she's not susceptible to the sand pest. Well, we know for a fact that she is. Absolutely is. Tell me more. This Aspity, or Saba, is quite a character. It's plainly obvious what types she will attract. The infected types. Nimble they are, swift like mice. Won't be held back by any kind of barrier. You won't be able to stop them. I mean, look, they're already crowding her place. The mob was even larger at dawn. How long has she been here? She came last night. I mean, you've sealed the stone yard, so there's no sand pest here. And consequently, she has few pilgrims visiting. There's no demand for her services. But still, it would be safer to get rid of her. She's looking for trouble. Uh, what's wrong with the children, then? You said they're ogling windows? Is it ogling or ogling? Ogling? I think, I think it's ogling. The children are not getting enough spankings. That's what's wrong with them. They don't give a rat's ass about the adults, as you've surely noticed. It's a clear sign. Wherever there are kids, there's trouble. It's just the games they play. Malicious games. I wouldn't be surprised to find out this whole outbreak was just a game of theirs, too. <laughs> this, this option. I don't like the sound of it. I'm not that fond of children in general. I'm sure you aren't, Bachelor. Uh, one more thing. What's your commanding... Where's your commanding orderly? Across the river. No, they were planning to throw a small party at the Cape. By the tombs. A party? I'll shove this party right up there. Georgi Kane is lifting the quarantine. A suspicious crowd is gathered by one of the houses in the Dusk District. Someone's spreading a rumor that I'm dead. A lot of things to do. Well, in the interest of efficiency, let's do all these things in a line, starting from here, here, and then probably there and there. A suspicious crowd is gathered when a house is in the Dusk District. That's where Saba should be. Alright, I should be able to trade with people. I should also just talk with people, too. So, Denkovsky, did you find that thief of yours? What thief? This night, a disheveled man broke into Judge Kane's house. Kicked up quite a racket. He begged the judge to hide him from you. Pleaded for justice. Everyone assumes he stole something from you. He asked the judge for justice? I wonder if he expects me to shoot first and ask questions later. I don't know. Perhaps. He must have had his reasons. Perhaps. I think a visit to the judge is in order. Oh my god, there's so many things to do. The judge is actively sabotaging my efforts in fighting the sand pest. Now we burn the cathedral down, right? It's there you're heading, ain't it? To give the order? No, we burn nothing down. We protect local architecture and execute arsonists. That's what we do. Got it? 
Well, I mean, you ordered everyone who so much as sniffled be dragged there, didn't you? Locked them up, let them stew, didn't you? Stands to reason, I think. The only thing left to do is burn the place down and be done with the stinking sand pest. I ordered suspicious people there, not the sick. To be tended to, not locked up. Don't get me started on the rest of your ideas. Give you people an inch of rope. Eh, the folks and I saved some kerosene for you. Need it? No, go home and lock yourself in. What a creep. It's nice not to have to worry about water, huh? We can just drink the water we find and it's fine. Wait, there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of children here? Actually, I think there's just one child. The rest aren't children. Because, yeah, the children outside of a house is over here. This should be Saba. Believer. I came here before you, but you may go in first. I need to pluck up my courage. What's inside? Tonight, Aspidi came here. Saba Otun, our mother and the mistress of dreams. And you're expecting this family reunion to go less than smoothly, I gather. Indeed. I dreamed of a frightening thing today. Only Aspidy can tell dream truths from dream lies. What did you dream of? That is my business, not yours. Even if I told you, it would be pointless. You would only hear dream lies. Aspidy, on the other hand, can see your dream with her own eyes so it doesn't matter which words you use to describe it. If you tell me what you dreamed of, you can have any item of mine. I'll even let you choose which one. I dreamed that I would die today, and that I wouldn't be the only one. Ah, I see. Of the sand plague, I believe. No, Aspidi taught us how not to fear the boogeyman. There is no sand plague. I saw death by fire. Well, given what we just heard about the whole kerosene and let's go burn down the cathedral, that wouldn't surprise me. Well, thank you. Take your time plucking up all the courage you need. Yeah, they took my pocket watch. The suspicious visitors of the house in the dust district claim that they've come to see a dream teller. Ooh. Heck yeah, chalk. I love how there's leaves all over the ground and like branches and stuff. Better not to ask. Silence is golden. Hello, Doctor. What did you dream of today? I dreamed. I dreamed that an outbreak would happen here today. The plague itself came to me wearing an orderly's outfit and gave me time until the evening. No matter. It sounds stupid when I say it out loud. I need a dream hook. Try to remember the mood, if only for a second. This is crucial. Then in your mind's eye, imagine a single detail that seemed pivotal to you. Just don't try to invent anything new. Remember it. Then I'll be able to see your dream as if it was mine. I remember you. You were there in my dream, telling me I failed to understand something. You're missing the point, Doctor. And I think you also tend to mix up death and plague, which are actually not the same. You mix up death, death, and death. But they're not the same. You can't even tell death from death. Not the same. How many different words did I use? One. Are you telling me they sounded different to you? 
the thing that came to you tonight was death. Not death as you thought. It wants you to understand why it haunts you, and it won't take you in until you do. It's as simple as that. I see. So was I supposed to just accept everything and meekly go belly up? No. If you agree to die without understanding, you will simply cease to exist. I doubt that that would be of interest to you, and it would definitely be pointless to your visitor, and it would never do anything unless it has a point. Death literally is the cessation of existence. I've been studying it all my life. I know what I'm talking about. This is precisely why it can't just take you in. You're blind. You don't know the first thing about it. Death is not the end. Not at all. Would you like me to prove it to you? You're a doctor. You'd easily see through any act. Watch me die properly. When it knocks, simply open the door. Okay. Let's take a look at your proof. What what happened here? Are they listed as dead? Or were they added? I think they were just added. Duh. They're dead now. Huh? To tame his insolence, Earth disgorged a monster from deep within her bowels. See, there's nothing terrible about it. I died properly. What do you mean properly? I knew why it needed to happen. Never let this understanding slip my mind, not even for a second. Concentration and the ability to clear your mind of any secondary thoughts are crucial. That's all there is to it. And why did it need to happen? This time I did it because I needed to convince you that running away from death will get you nowhere. You won't win this way. You'll only make it worse. There's no need to hurry, though. Suicide only leads to void. It's not the right way to cross the threshold. How can it be worse? And if death is so painful, why hurry? Because there is fear swelling inside you, and fear won't help you understand how to die properly. Even without the understanding, you will still die, Bachelor, but it won't be a true death. To the contrary, it will be your complete, absolute end. You will simply cease to be. It's not quite as unpleasant as eternal damnation, but still rather less than thrilling. All right, I need to mull this whole situation over. The picture is slowly coming together. They really did just die. When one dies properly, they're greeted by something other than non-existence beyond the threshold. But how does one die properly? Huh. Am I doing on food? Not terrible, but I could stand to eat the smoked fish. Drink some. Let's go to where the children should be. Ah, you're shrew. I'm not going to give you any nuts. Well, have you collected them? What are you rascals doing here? Keeping vigil. Waiting for the things inside the house to come to a close. Also for nuts. I'll be generous enough to forgive the rascals for now. I can even help you get inside. If you bring me a nut, of course. Why do you need nuts? How many times have I told you it's none of your business? Must be a hundred times, or two hundred. I need them. Simple as that. Mm. 
Well, I don't. Need this fuss, I mean. Wrong. You need the keys, don't you? The keys to this house. I mean, the one where everybody's dying. But unless you bring me nuts, you'll get no lockpicks. None at all. Got it? What? People are dying inside this house? What makes you think so? I don't want to talk about it. I'm scared. Let Sleepyhead tell you. I feel like the bachelor would be the kind of person to threaten children. I see. Now hand over the lockpicks, do it, or the keys, or what have you. Let me say it again. We had a deal. You can go everywhere. I can't go anywhere. Thanks loads for that, right? That's why you get me nuts and I give you whatever you need in exchange, like lockpicks, handmade, rare, a super luxurious product if you ask me. Why do they say, you can go everywhere, I can't go anywhere? Thanks loads for that. How did I prevent them from going anywhere? What did past me do? Oh, no need to be shy. You can't go anywhere. With a pocket full of rare, luxurious, handmade lockpicks. Right. Uh, perhaps it'd be safer for me to have them. Uh, perhaps, but... Only in exchange for nuts. Got it already. Trading one for one, right? I sullenly swear. Heavens, sevens, now and forevens. <laughs> when I was your age, the thing to say was, I shall eat earth. But that's unhygienic, so no matter. I trust you. I'm not going to give them nuts, I guess. Shrew would trade nuts for lockpicks, which are the only way to get inside the suspicious house. Man, that does not make it easy to not give them nuts. It sounded like they would trade a single nut for a lockpick. That's an incredibly good trade. And it sounds like I'm not going to be able to get lockpicks any other way. It feels like someone's pulling my strings. How's Blackie? Um, he's fine, but his stepfather died. I have a very important thing to ask of you. Don't listen to Shrew, okay? And never, ever give her nuts. It's all a trap. Got it? I most certainly didn't. Shrew wants you to die. Don't give her anything. Shrew? You mean the pigtails, girl? Have I wronged her somehow? Not at all. She just thinks your whole ordeal is wrong and feels sorry for you. Thing is, I don't want you to die. You know what? If you find any nuts, bring them to me instead. I'll give you anything in exchange. How about bandages? You're a doctor. You probably need those. So they want to kill me to put me out of my misery? How would giving them nuts make them kill me? Maybe there's something inside the house would kill me? I don't know. What's up with this nut obsession of yours? If you're hungry, how about some bread? They're not food, they're for the dead. Look there. Why do you think Sleepyhead is standing by the windows with a pocket full of nuts? Exactly. Why is he? A couple of good masters used to live here. Fine tuners. Sleepyhead wants them to advise them after they die. Nuts can preserve people after death. So Shrew wanted to scrounge one from Sleepyhead for you, but he won't give her any. Wait, so Shrew wants me to die and then preserve me inside of a nut? Yeah, no thanks. For me? Look, just don't give nuts to Shrew, alright? Give them to me instead. I don't want you to die. You can keep living with us. Teach me too. I want to be a doctor, you know. Uh, here, will this kind of nut do? Okay. Um. Oh, they also take other stuff. Candle stub. Two, three. <laughs> one for that. Nasty. Four for raisins. Three for a beetle. Yeah, I don't actually have any nuts, do I? 
but I have other stuff to trade. Hmm. Bandages. Actually, needles are really important. I definitely want all of those. A couple matches. Uh, I don't have any more food right now, but I'm also not low on food. Canned food would be nice, though. Or just toast. Powder. You have schmowder. Ooh. That's now the most important thing. I don't know what I can do with it. It's not even listed as schmowder, just powder. Maybe because the bachelor doesn't know what it really is. But I thought the bachelor did know all about schmowder. I don't know. Let's see if we can get it without taking away the needles. I don't think I can. No. Okay. There we go. I don't mind giving away like practically all my matches. That's fine. One needle and schmouter. Oh, did I have nuts? It showed me dropping a nut. I guess the dialogue option removed the nut. Name on paper. For some reason I keep finding scraps of paper all over, all over the town that have names written on them. I am Daniel Dinkovsky, a bachelor of medicine and fighter of death. I have one last chance to figure out the truth. Is that what you're thinking while you read this, or is it on the paper? Powders, or schmouders, as the kids call them, can sometimes cure any disease. Or at least they used to. Han, the children's leader who now rules the polyhedron, claims that all the real schmouders were used up long before the epidemic. Ah, it's a knockoff schmouder. I'm sure it'll work fine, though. Knee pits? That is a weird way to refer to them, but I know exactly what they're talking about. Armpits, but like... For, for where your knees are. Huh. Just don't tell Shrew I warned you, right? We're good friends, actually. As if you warned me of something important. Uh, no, no, let's not say that. The only thing that made sense in your story was that you kids are all starved for nuts. Rough as Dutch, safe to touch. Smooth as bone, leave, leave it alone. Okay. Sleepyhead. True's got the keys, not me. I don't need to go in there anyway. One can catch him from over here just fine. What's in there? Two solid masters are dying in there right now. Siskin and Lotman. Both have been over the river, so now they're done for. That's what you get for getting carried away. Anyway, I want to collect them into nuts. I'll listen to them before I go to sleep and they'll advise me. Uh, let me check if I got everything right. What you're saying is there are two infected persons in that house, correct? Nah, they probably just cut themselves or something. But you won't get inside anyway. The house is locked. Well, how do I unlock it? You don't. And I wouldn't tell you if I knew anyway. You come back here with them beakheads, drag Siskin and Lotman to the mortuary, and kick me out of here, right? So how am I going to collect them into nuts then? Nah, man. You're barking up the wrong tree if you think you can trick me like that. Collect them into nuts? What do you mean? I think we already kind of know the answer to this, but I want to see if they say anything else. A nut is a tricky fruit. It resonates. If you do everything properly, you can preserve a person inside. Got it? Talk to him after death and all. Through a teeny tiny hole. If he agrees to, I mean. What if he doesn't? Well, then you wait for him to get bored. It's probably super tiresome sitting inside a nut talking to no one. 
Eternal life must be tedious. Yes, unless you're evolving. Sticky would even buy nuts from me, trading for useful items like bandages. I traded nuts to Sticky. Behind the locked doors of one house in the Dust District, one can hear footsteps. Just don't you worry, okay? It will be over soon. Why is it so hot here? Huh. Where did, uh, what's their name go? hearing strange noises. Is there any way for me to get in here without giving a nut to to you? There you are. What's your name again? True. So here's how it's going to be with you, huh? Well, in that case, you're no friend of mine. What did I do to lose your favor? So when Sticky asks you for nuts, you're all too happy to run his errand and oblige, huh? And I'm second class. Do you even know why he doesn't want me to help you? No, I don't. Why? Because he doesn't want to let you pass away like normal people do. Because you two are BFFs now or something. He wants to learn stuff from you. And so he clings to you, sticks to you, cures you, and generally plays doctor. Moron. You need to have a pillow stuffed over your face and your soul stuffed into a nut for safekeeping. Thanks? You're doing a very bad job of convincing me. You need to have a pillow stuffed over your face and your soul stuffed into a nut. <laughs> no thanks, I'm good. You clearly have a very kind and compassionate heart. I'll try to make do without the pillow though, alright? This is pointless. Look everyone, here's what a person whose mind was erased by sickness looks like. You are delirious, Doctor. Raving. Do you understand? You're sick. Got infected with the sand plague. And so you're hallucinating. It's midnight now, and we're at your place, looking after you. Well, I'd say it's you who seem to be raving, girl. And that is a very suspicious symptom. You'll have to come with me. <laughs> yeah, right. Go with you? Where to? The afterlife? No, thank you. You'll have to manage on your own. And since you failed to bring me a nut, there won't even be a single shred of you staying here. Serves you right, too. You're no friend of mine now. Well, in that case, you're no friend of mine either. There are logical discrepancies in the world. There sure are. According to Shrew, I'm delirious, hallucinating yesterday's events. And not for the first time. The kind girl wants my misery to end. It's not like I don't feel sorry for you. Perhaps I'll even deign to help you after all, but I'll never ever ask you for help again. No, sir. It's dangerous outside. You should all go home. Will you look at this guy, boys? Huh? He still thinks we're all standing somewhere outside. I have no intention to play games with you. <laughs> Alright then, we'll go. And you won't have anyone to barter with anymore. Huh, that's true. Yeah, that might be a terrible idea then. Let's go with it. I'll live. Wait, can I just enter? It's not locked? Are they really gone from up here? Yeah. Shall we go inside? Oh, 
Oh, I guess maybe I just need a lockpick for one of the doors inside rather than the main door to get inside the place. Does that make any sense? I think I explained that terribly. Maybe I'll find a lockpick. Who knows? Ooh. What the fuck is wrong with that door? That... I don't know if that's plague or what, but that doesn't seem normal. It's like something's creeping out from the room. Ah, fuck. I really can't do anything. If I find a lockpick, I am coming back there. Let's head to the cathedral. 